The mysterious interstellar visitor 3i Atlas has reappeared behind the sun and is behaving more strangely than ever. This object from the depths of the galaxy breaks all the rules of comet research and presents researchers with completely new puzzles. We're taking a look at the latest bizarre discoveries and finding out why even a Jupiter mission is now targeting this mysterious comet. Be sure to stick around until the end. A warm welcome, everyone. Three Eye Atlas is back and admit it, you missed it, didn't you? It had been behind the sun for some time, hidden from our view, but now we have a clear view of this cosmic rule breaker again. If you never want to miss anything on this topic again, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Subscribing doesn't cost anything. You'll never miss another video and you really help me out. And if you've already subscribed, giving this video a thumbs up helps it a lot. Maybe we'll even hit 5,000 likes. Thank you so much, everyone. And now let's head into space. Namely, our favorite interstellar troublemaker, 3i Atlas. Incidentally, the name stands for Interstellar Object 3 in Atlas. After the telescope that discovered it, it is the third confirmed visitor from interstellar space after Umomua and 2i Borisov. And just when we thought we knew how such cosmic guests behave, 3i Atlas comes along and simply does what it wants, cheerfully breaking all the rules we have established about comets. And one of the greatest mysteries which has now been solved was the so-called anti-tail. What is that supposed to be? Normally, comet tails point away from the sun, as everyone knows. The solar wind and radiation pressure blow dust and gas away from the comet's nucleus, creating the characteristic tail that always points away from the sun. It's actually logical. Warm sun, sublimating ice, gas and dust are blown away, and the tail is ready. But 3i Atlas is once again doing its own thing. Instead of a normal tail, researchers have discovered that it has apparently developed a strange extension towards the sun. It's as if your rainstorm suddenly started pulling in the wind during a storm instead of keeping it out. Sounds crazy? It is. An international team of researchers observed the comet using several telescopes. They found that it is indeed surrounded by the dust and gas cloud typical of comets. But what was missing was the expected tail. In August, scientists in Hawaii took a closer look at the comet with the Keck 2 telescope. At that time, it was more than two and a half times as far from Earth as the Sun, so already quite far out. The Keck data confirmed previously suspected cyanide and nickel outgassing. These outgassing events were emitted both toward the Sun and in the opposite direction. Avi Loeb, a Harvard professor known for his pension for alien explanations, said, It is particularly noteworthy that the white light image of 3MI Atlas shows no evidence of a known comet tail, as one would expect from dust scattering sunlight and being pushed away from the sun by solar radiation pressure. So the comet was emitting gas in both directions but showed no normal dust tail. And of course that set off a flurry of theories. Some claimed this was proof of an artificial origin of a propulsion system for this alien probe that's supposed to be investigating our solar system. But is that really the case? In fact, the mystery surrounding the strange anti-tail of 3i Atlas has now been solved. New images show that the tail, which initially pointed toward the sun, turned into a normal tail away from the sun in September. The cause is the increasing proximity to the sun, which caused CO2 sublimation to release more and more ice particles that initially scattered the sunlight but later evaporated and were replaced by dust particles. This caused the direction of the tail to visually reverse, what initially looked like a mystery or even a techno signature turned out to be a natural physical phenomenon. So no aliens after all. The gas is on. I forgot to light the oven. Oh well, better late than never. <laughs> Nevertheless, 3 Atlas remains a mystery, and that will probably stay that way for a while. But now it gets really exciting. It's getting an observer, not from Earth, but from a completely unexpected direction. The ESA space probe JUICE is actually on its way to Jupiter to explore its icy moons. JUICE stands for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer and was launched in 2023. It is on its way to the largest planet in the solar system and is scheduled to study the icy moons Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa, all of which are potentially life-friendly worlds beneath their frozen surfaces, starting in 2031. JUICE will first enter orbit around another planet's moon, Ganymede, and explore its surface, magnetosphere, and possible oceans in detail. But right now, it's still on its 
long journey there, floating somewhere in interplanetary space. And by a lucky coincidence, it's in the perfect place at the perfect time to observe 3i Atlas. Olivier Vitas, ESA project scientist, explains, This whole campaign came as a complete surprise to everyone. As far as JUICE is concerned, we are currently in a cruise phase with thermal constraints because we are relatively close to the Sun compared to the scientific phase around Jupiter. Therefore, no payload activities were planned at this time. However, given the uniqueness of this observation, it was decided to prepare this additional observation planning. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You're planning a mission to Jupiter and suddenly you get the chance to observe an interstellar comet. JUICE will observe three Earth flybys between the 2nd and the 25th of November. The next approach took place on November 4th. At that time, the comet was about 64 million kilometers away from the probe, which is approximately 0.428 astronomical units. Sounds far away? It is. But JUICE still has the right equipment on board. Witasi explains we will use five instruments. The camera, the near-infrared imaging instrument, the UV spectrometer, the sub-millimeter instrument, and a sensor for imaging neutral atoms. JUICE will even be able to observe 3 i Atlas during its most active period. And who knows what mysteries we will uncover because there seems to be so much we don't know about comets. Did 3 i Atlas form in an area with higher radiation? Does it originate from a very young or old star system? Where exactly in the Milky Way is its cosmic origin? And what has it already experienced on its journey through the galaxy? Hopefully, the observations will solve some of these mysteries. The only catch? Due to JUICE's position relative to Earth, the data rate is very low. We expect that the data will not be available for download until February 2026. So we'll have to be patient, explains Olivier Vitas. So we'll have to wait a little longer, but I'll let you know as soon as the data is available. Promise. So be sure to subscribe to the channel now so you don't miss it. And remember to give us a thumbs up so we can reach 5,000 likes. And speaking of mysterious objects in space, researchers have recently discovered something truly spectacular in old sky images. Evidence of artificial objects that were already visible in the sky in the 1950s, long before the first Sputnik satellite was even launched. Who created these objects? Or is there a very simple explanation for them? You can find out about this fascinating story and what really lies behind these mysterious objects in the sky in the video shown above on the right. Be sure to check it out, it's very exciting. And if you can't get enough of science and space, you'll find another video at the bottom right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.